I heard a pastor say once, Gary, I can't find the word abortion in the Bible. Well, my goodness, the whole Bible is a message of choose life. If you're preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, do you really need to find the word abortion in the Bible to know that the whole theme of the Bible is that life is precious and we should always choose life? It's hard to imagine a bigger victory than this one. And I want to take the chance, Jim, to thank you for everything you did and continue to do on the sanctity of life. It's been a pleasure to stand next to you in that battle, but you never wavered. I'm stuck in Washington, D.C. You know, people get up in the morning trying to figure out how to waver. You get up every morning trying to figure out how to move the ball down the court in the direction of making America that shining city on a hill. So God bless you, man. Without you, I, I don't know if this would have ever happened. Now, Gary, everything you've said about me comes right back to you because you never wavered either. That's why our friendship has been so fast, so strong, because we both have a passion for the same things and life is at the top of the list. You know, Gary, I think the most important point we can make today in this summary of Roe v. Wade's uh, demise, if you will, is that this is not the end of the battle. No. This is just the beginning. There's going to be battles in 50 states that they're going to have to decide for themselves what to do. And uh, there'll be battles in every state legislature. People can't go to sleep on this issue. There's still babies dying every day.